This is a city. Some call it Denton, Texas. We call it Reaper Land. Oh yeah, when we used to turn around, yeah. yeah. Hope you're enjoying the music. Ah! <laughs> Rest in peace, headphone users. <laughs> we thought we would give you some some uh, Good Friday appropriate music. There you go. <laughs> Got to bring in the weekend. I feel like screaming, and I'll tell you guys why in a little bit. I got no, story time with John. Nothing says butt rock quite like Easter. Am I right? Yeah, uh, Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Has Ron recovered from last night? Um, you know, <laughs> I haven't seen him today. He's yeah, he's. He's not doing well today. Yeah, he, he, he got a shot yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so he went, he was a trooper and he still came in and did the show. But he's been slowly, that second shot kind of takes the wind mm -hmm. out of your sails. Yeah, I noticed there was a lot of people that were kind of missing. Because if, if for anybody that didn't know, we had 10 people, I think, get their second shot yesterday. Yes, quite a bit. Yeah, so they, they went and got their shot, came back and kept unloading trailers. So today we were they were probably going to feel We it. have an amazing crew here, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, speaking of unloading yes. trailers uh there was a kickstarter update this morning where ron put up a bunch of the videos that we didn't show last night mm -hmm. um so if you want to go check those out uh check your email you might have gotten the kickstarter update yeah number 118 and i just have to say um as i was telling ron you know he's like damn bones four <laughs> and i go you know everything always has to have some project has to have a glitch mm -hmm. or you know something go wrong yeah. if this is the only thing that goes wrong on this entire kickstarter mm -hmm. It is a touchdown. It is a grand slam home run. Let me yeah. tell you. Yeah, we're not we're not that we're not that late. Um, uh, for anybody in chat that might have done Bones One, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Bones One was like six months late or something like that. Six like, or nine. Like yeah. After the I mean, chat would delivery. probably know, but yeah, it's probably six or nine months. Yeah. Yeah, Bug Lips will probably know. He'll tell me in a second or somebody. Um, but and then I think the the other ones were kind of a little bit about. The same, like three I months, could have sworn, four months. I could have sworn. And someone I was in on Twitch chat corrected me or something. Did Oh, on Facebook. Reaper Facebook corrected me. And he's like, here are the the, the, the closing dates, and then here's when they fulfilled. And it was Bones 1, 2, 3. I think it was Francis. Uh, uh, okay. uh, Francis. And yeah. um, mm -hmm. uh, anyway, it's like, are you sure about Bones 1? Because, man, I swear to God, that thing sound, looked like it lasted for two years. <laughs> Yeah, six months. Yeah, it was about six months is what people were saying, is what yeah. said, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty crazy. And we were talking about, we were talking, me and Justin were talking yesterday and watching the videos and we talked a little bit about last night is the the speed at which we unloaded the trailers. Yeah, because you had it all in fast forward. Which You got to keep doing that. You got to <laughs> yeah, film it yeah. and then play it at fast yeah. forward so we can unload everything. Yeah, fast. we got that trailer unloaded in like two minutes. So. I know, I know. I was like totally amazed. <laughs> Do you see how fast I was whipping that forklift yeah. around? <laughs> yeah, oh, that video was like... <laughs> Don't let OSHA see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, it was yes, very that quick. Is a, this is a new hat. It's the Reaper Fast Pitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The girls, it's a girls softball team that we sponsor. Yeah, the Fast Pitch. Great. They're 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 crushing it. I follow them on Facebook. Um, so every time they get a win or they go to like playoffs and stuff, I see their little yeah. updates. So. And then they get and they get those huge like Super Bowl. You know, they win a tournament, a tournament, and then they get this huge like Super Bowl sized ring. <laughs> I was like, holy crap! Nice. <laughs> um, one of the only Kickstarters I've backed that even are close to the original schedule this year. Emily says. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I forget. Did we? When did we? Did we promise it would ship in April? April, yeah. April oh, okay. twenty twenty one was and the I estimated. Think, date. And I think we're we're estimating that we'll do it in May. May, yeah. Yeah. Is is the estimated? If we buy a hat, does that go with to support the team? Oh, team. Uh, no, but it supports me. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are uh, um, these are just extra hats that we got when we were buying the hats for the uh, for the kids. We've already mm. given given them the money that they need for this year. <laughs> are you where are you uh samurai jack says are you allowed to wear the fast pitch hat while using a fast palette without breaking the speed barrier Ooh. that's pretty funny yes but that means you're going plaid <laughs> <laughs> um yeah speaking of timing of this kickstarter uh, i know that ron put in a lot of work before the kickstarter started to get things a lot of uh, ahead of schedule to like get things sculpted and get things ready and all that stuff plus we were really on top of it because we knew we've done this plenty of times uh the whole chinese new year and things like that, that really puts a big bump in things. Mm -hmm. um, but we tried to get everything done really quickly. Like Ron was stressing for like uh, like two months trying to build all the boxes and 
get all that stuff. Ron's done. always stressing because he has to deal with the artist trying to get the, the stuff in and meet the deadline to get it ready to go to China or get it ready. And uh, then make yeah. sure the quantities are correct. Um, and meanwhile, I'm sitting in my office going, dab it on the left. <laughs> Dave, Dave is in there. He deleted the five and made it into a four. Yeah. And he's like, that'll show him. Yeah. Uh, tell me I'm not, uh, oh yeah, that was the running joke for a number of years. Years ago, before Ron was doing all the boxes and stuff, which he does an amazing job, let me tell you. Um, I used to have to do the job, and so, well, I have to, I enjoyed it, but um, uh, I would do ads, and I would design boxes, and, and then I would take them to Ed for approval, and then Ed would look at it, and he goes, well, looks like an accountant designed it. <laughs> <laughs> All the numbers are on it. Yeah, yeah, it's so orderly, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, I think Ron is taking it pretty well. If you read the Kickstarter update, he put a few little jokes in there, so, but yeah, I haven't really talked to him today, so... Uh, I know. Um, to know Ron is to torture him. <laughs> a, a funny thing that he also put in the Kickstarter update, I don't know if anybody saw this. Uh, I got a bunch of messages about it right after he did it. Uh, he put, he said, I would like to thank our social media stallion, John Ooh. Overton, is what he said in the Kickstarter update. So immediately everybody messaged me and said, what is this? <laughs> a stallion. A stallion. Wow. Well. Social media stallion. So, Little did I know I was sitting in the company of a stallion. So we got Brother Dave and then Stallion Overton over here, Stallion John. Uh, I just thought it was weird because I was reading the update before people were messaging me because mm -hmm. I get the email the same time as you guys do. And I was reading through it and I was like, social media stallion. I was like... <laughs> He's trying to use his little fluffy, buttery words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it a wild one? Yeah, just my mane is yeah. it's pretty wild. So, But I've just been responding to everybody with a uh, horse you know, gifts. You know Ron and his thesaurus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, social media stallion at your service. Oh, yeah. By the way, when I was over uh, driving the forklift today, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that big captain's wheel is still over there. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, nice. It's mine. Oh, yeah, I know. I was, that's <laughs> why I'm telling you. Um, but yeah, I'll wait until I'm moving to my house to move uh, it. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's see what else do I have. So, yeah, we unloaded <laughs> the trailer yesterday. I'm really sore. Were you sure it's stallion and not scallion? Yeah, scallion. <laughs> Maybe he messed up. Maybe he messed up did another typo. Oh, no. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Well, we have some memes uh, created by the community that will show off today that I thought were really funny. Um, let's see. Quarterly contest. Feature, I'll talk about that later. But, yeah, I captured a couple last night, and I was going to, yeah, I'm going to use that on the, the comedy corner. And then, yeah, probably no. Uh, we'll no. see how Ron feels. Right. We'll see how Ron feels. If he doesn't watch that. Reaperland, he won't know. Yeah, so. that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, okay, story time real quick. So oh. all day yesterday, uh, before I got to work, I, I stepped into my closet yesterday morning, and there was water in my closet. And I was like, I was trying to figure out where it was coming from. Finally figured out it was the hot water heater because it's in our closet. Yeah. Right. So I called the we called the front office. We called maintenance and everything. They were like, "Yeah, we'll send somebody out today." Right. And no time frame, no nothing. Right. So I had to come to work. My girlfriend works nights, so she needs to sleep during the day. So she she's worried and she's calling about every hour, like, "Hey, maintenance is still not here. The water's <laughs> going into our room. It's like going underneath and, the bed." It's, and you've tried putting towels and everything yeah, down. Yeah. It's just absorbing into the carpet. Yeah. Um, okay. And so by the time like. Three o'clock rolls around. Um, she's already called four. I've called twice, mm -hmm. um, and it's reach. It's starting to go out into the hallway. So it's past the door. It's going into the hallway. The creeping water. They finally showed up at like five thirty-six. Right. They looked at it and said, uh, "Yeah, it's a it's a hose. Uh, we'll order that part. We'll get it fixed tomorrow." They turn the hot water. They turn the water off. Right. I'm like, okay, so it's not going to leak anymore. So we we're doing Reaper Live. We've unloaded trailers. Mm -hmm. You know. We're doing all that stuff here, so I'm exhausted. And by the I get home, and there's a there's a carpet cleaning guy, guy there, like you know, vacuuming uh, up the yeah, carpets. Yeah. And he, we need to move all of our stuff out of the bedroom. And we live in a pretty small apartment, so our bed, our dressers, everything has to come out. So I'm I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Yeah. I just unloaded three trailers in the sun. We did Reaper Live. It was a busy day yesterday. So I'm, you know, I'm like throwing stuff and I'm did like, you turn, did you start recording yourself on phone to put you in, in hyper mode? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I should have done that. That was a smart <laughs> idea. Um, but so I move everything out and he gets done and he goes, I'll be back on Monday. It's going to take 72 hours to dry off. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's, that's fine. As long as it's done. Mm -hmm. I go to sleep and I wake up 
and I step into the, the hallway, there's water all over the floor in the hallway. Mm -hmm. And so I open the, the bedroom door, soaked again. And it just kept leaking all night. So I, I called and complained to maintenance and all that stuff. So as of right now, I have a new water heater. The carpet people came out. They cleaned it again. It's going to take until Tuesday. So when there do you, you go. get your house? Uh, May, May 10th. May 10th. Yeah, May 10th. Okay. Is the closing date. So it's only a few more months. But mm. yeah, living in apartments is, is such a joy. I mean, we don't have to pay anything, so that's good. But <laughs> yeah. it's just mildly inconvenient. Nothing was ruined that I know of. Um, nothing was ruined, water damage or anything like that. So. so remind me, Dr. Bob wants to see this the captain's wheel again. Okay. So maybe we can do mm -hmm. that next Friday. Yeah. Uh, you need to come to the UK and make a similar video of unpacking when the container arrives. Oh, yeah, Bewitchkey, you're right. Um, I I will contact the Australian and the UK people to try to get them to take pictures and videos for me. Um, that I haven't really reached out to them to, to about doing that, but I will. Yeah, house life is such a change. Yeah, Steve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I'm excited. I'm kind of I'm kind of excited. But it's, yeah, it was just yeah. a big thing last the night. The biggest thing I remember living in an apartment years ago in college was the uh, every summer the air conditioning would go out. Oh, yeah. And then it would be like, well, we'll get someone to look at it. And then right about when the summer's over, that's when they fix the, uh -huh. the air conditioner. You know, And then it's like, okay, well, then we're fine for you know at least two or three years. Mm -hmm. Next summer, right at the start, the air conditioner goes out again. Oh. My thing is just, I, I, they knew it was a, I don't know. Like, I don't know what else was on their list. I don't know what importance level uh, a water draining into your closet, into your room was. But I'm just surprised they didn't no, come right away. No, do you away. live on the ground or upstairs? First floor, thank, thank oh, goodness. Okay, if we so lived no. on the second floor, they probably would have been there in 10 minutes. Probably. Because oh. um, that also causes damage to the one below us and all that stuff. So. Uh, no, I don't have any idea on the Australian time frame. Uh, no, I don't. Um, in the Kickstarter update, Ron did say that they were on, they just, you know, they're on their way. They're starting to go on their way. The Suez Canal stuff didn't really um, no. affect us because we weren't there yet. Because, um, because Chuck... Uh, freed the ship. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Norris. Yeah, Chuck <laughs> Norris freed the ship. Uh, homo actually, homo actually no, Aries. Uh, depends on the state and everything, but uh, you have to buy flood insurance just to have a leaky water heater. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, and and flooding your house is not covered under insurance, at least. Homeowners uh, insurance? Oh, wow. Yeah. So generally, you have to have flood insurance for that. Oh. At least that's been my understanding. Yeah. I could be wrong. Could be I've wrong. been wrong before. What about like tornado insurance? Tornado, sure. No, 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 no. Hail. The hail, tornado, all Fire. that's covered by normal yeah. insurance, okay. yeah. But for some reason, they want to break, well, because people build in floodplains. Mm -hmm. And so well, that's a flood. Well, then then where do you draw the line? Like your normal owners, I know, I know, Reaper's like, <laughs> yeah, Dave, sorry, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the straight winds. If you have enough, which you can have straight winds of like 60 miles an hour, 70 mm -hmm. miles an hour. It'll rip off some of your roof tiles yes. or damage some window, blow something through your window. If it's straight winds and not associated with a tornado, insurance won't pay. Oh, wow. Uh, and that's why it's so important that, that after a tornado, they actually send out, the state sends out regulators, and then they determine, was this a tornado or not? If it was, then you pay all these insurance claims. If it was just straight wind, nope. Hmm. I see. That's pretty weird. That's really that's really odd. So once this dies down a little bit, I gotta check things for water damage and if anything got ruined. I oh, don't think anything yeah. did, but yeah, homeowner's warranty would be good. Yeah, that helps at least repair. Yeah, they'll repair the damage and the, the stuff if you have if you have that. All right, let's jump into some stuff. Oh, cool. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Well, I just got an email from a very important email actually, so I might as well talk about that. Really? Um, it's from Kit. I yeah. got an important email. Oh. It's from the IRS. I'm being audited. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> well, Just kidding. If you guys don't see uh, Dave next week. That's yeah. Cool. Um, so the quarterly contest ends tonight at 6 p.m. If you haven't voted yet, go check out the album uh, for the voting. It's it's pinned on all the uh, social medias and stuff. Um, it's on the forums. It's on the Discord. It's on the Facebook and all that stuff, too. So it ends tonight at 6. So good luck to everybody that submitted. There was a lot of good submissions. I've seen a lot of people commenting and talking about this one. Um, but this isn't related to the quarterly contest. I said whenever I first took over doing the contest from uh, Matthew Clark um, that I was going to try to get them off of the Facebook page because they've been on the fan Facebook page and it's kind of hard for a big majority of people to enter and to vote and things like that because a lot of people don't use Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted it to be a universal kind of a thing. 
So that was kind of a beta test during Reaper Virtual Expo when we did all of our contests. Um, and so that worked out really well. So I have requested that that gets added to reapermini.com. So reapermini.com slash contest or whatever we want it to be. It'll be its own little tab. Uh, you'll be able to log in to your Reaper Mini account just like normal. You'll be able to manage your submissions and do all that stuff. But now it's all going to be done through there. Same thing for voting and all that stuff. Uh, but the, the email that I just got was I was requesting some features. And one of the features is uh, a shuffle feature. Uh, so right now on the Facebook page, when you go, when you open up the album of all the submissions, yeah. there's, they're locked in a certain place. Mm -hmm. And I have to manually every couple of days go and move them around to kind of shuffle them myself. Right. Uh, because, you know, when you're looking through... 100 photos the ones that are at the bottom will probably get less views exactly um, yeah so every couple of days i shuffle and then that's good so this feature that i'm requesting is on the back end have a button that says shuffle so it'll sh automatically shuffle everything and randomize it oh, so i can okay. do it every day um and it's easy i don't have to do it manually yes so and he says that is doable so yay features they're asking about the argent dragon oh yes so for anybody that has been doing the Reaper Challenge League, today on this show, we're going to be pulling the winners, or not the winners, we're going to be pulling the prizes for the raffles. Uh, so there's a total of four raffles going on. Uh, one is for Argent, one is for a polished Sir 4 scale, and one is for the uh, Hall of Fame 2019, oh, there you go, Hall of Fame 2019 uh, Warrior, sculpted by Bob Rudolphy. Uh, this is my own personal Argent. We don't we don't have any in the building. Uh, the fourth one is uh, 10 gift cards. So Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. I got excited. Uh, but yeah. So this is not the one you're giving away. No, this is. It um, is. It's just because we don't have any others in the building that right. I can give away. So um, you're giving away yours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get one when we get them what in. What a team player. I'm uh, telling you people. Uh, <laughs> so, and then the, this, sir, this polish of four scale is mine as well. Um, but, you know, I can go make one whatever I want. Uh, but... I know they're really sought after, so yeah. And then this one is very exclusive. It was only 2019 Hall of Fame. Uh, Argent needs to come back in the store. Well, Valandar, he never came to the store. Not yet. Um, he's not out yet. He never got released, but he will. <laughs> Social media stallion. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, so that we'll be doing that raffle probably here in... We'll do, it at, we'll do it in eight minutes, halfway yeah. through the show. Uh, Dr. Bob, not sure when it's going to be released because we're dealing with a lot of uh, supply issues mm -hmm. right now. Uh, there's a shipping container shortage. Uh, it is manufactured in China, and mm -hmm. it has to come over here. So uh, I do not know. Yes. So I know that the next big three new releases are Dragon Turtle, mm -hmm. Skeleton Dragon, mm -hmm. and Dance of Death. Those, oh, are, yeah. those are the okay. next three that Ron said were going to be on the docket for the large items. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason it works this way is because whenever we order stuff from across the, the ocean, correct me if I'm wrong, you have to, it's inefficient and it costs more to not fill up a, a container. container. Yes, you so pay a lot. if we just got Argent, you know, he wouldn't fill up a full container by himself. Or maybe we need to restock a bunch of smaller items. Mm -hmm. So you need to kind of Tetris your way into ordering the right amount of stuff to make it worth your Prime. Your, your yeah. time. It's kind of like if you're buying odd lots of stock. If you order, if you buy less than 100 shares, they tack on mm -hmm. a premium because normally everybody's buying in lots of 100 or 1,000 yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. No, I want 26 shares. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah. and, and that's why you normally see like Baba Yaga's hut. So like Baba Yaga's hut plus a bunch of other smaller stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. Or um, what's another big item? Narthrax and a bunch of smaller stuff. It's because you can't do all of these all at one time. Uh, cash flow and ordering time and, and container space and all that stuff. It's kind of a delicate balance. Um, so that, that's why. That's why they call it the dance of death. Yeah, <laughs> the dance of death. <laughs> um, there you go. Uh, talk about the raffle. I have room for a second and there's a talk Points about Points for tickets were earned over the last three months. Yes. So the Reaper Challenge League, for anybody that is new, uh, the first quarter is ending. And every quarter we're going to be doing raffles. You can purchase the raffle tickets by uh, using your points that you received from the Reaper Challenge League. So over the, pa over the past three months, people have been painting models and submitting them for different challenges and completing those challenges gave you points. So now you can use those points to buy raffles uh, for each one of these. So I put up four different raffles, mm -hmm. one for Argent, one for the Hall of Fame and one for Sir Polish Four Scale. Um, and 
the way that you enter is on the Discord. Uh, we got a custom bot made that handles all your points and all the raffle entries and things like that. So here in five minutes, uh, we'll, we'll probably give it 10 minutes. So if you haven't used your points yet, head on over to the Discord and use your points yeah. in the next 10 minutes. Bob Rodolfi. Hey, Bob. He's hey, in chat. Users? Taking the time to watch our show. Oh, Julie did? Oh, green users. That's Bob. Oh, it says it says Bob Rodolfi on the on the packaging. Uh -oh. Maybe that was a maybe that was a Ron mistake. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm sensing a theme here. Yeah. Does it <laughs> does it say Bones Four as well? Oh no. <laughs> it does say Hall. Oh, VIP Warrior. It's not Hall of Fame. It's a VIP. Oh. Okay. So this came in the VIP uh, swag box at 2019 ReaperCon. Sorry, Bob. Thank you, Julie. Uh, <laughs> Ron Sponsible. There you go. Ron the Typo Hawkins. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> It'll die down, I promise. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, They're still not over the running man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's uh, let's show some pictures. Let's show all the. Are you ready to show a picture, Justin? You sleep in there. Uh, Hello, Justin. Justin. I am ready. Yeah. We, we should which, be able to go through these pretty quickly. Which no, pictures? Not the not the um, QCC. Not those. The normal okay. ones. Yeah. Well, as long as you don't use your phone, they should go in a fairly nice manner. Do you want to start with the meme, or do you want to start with other photos? You can, you can start. You, you can start you with can. whatever. Yeah, I'll start with this one because I like SpongeBob. Oh yeah, this is a this is a Ron meme right here. It says the boxes are labeled Bones Four, Ron. All right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> when he gets up and leaves. All right, I believe this was made by Steve. I put the name in the title. Um, uh, let's see here, Jason. Oh. Yeah, let me pull it up. Okay, I don't have it. I can pull it up on my phone. But... No, no, I got, I got. It. I don't know, Madman. Jason I'm, I'm, Barrett. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jason Barrett. I'm seeing a lot of people more interested in the box. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Really important question here. Will Reaper Challenge League points carry over to the next year? This is from Doso. Um, not from the year. They will carry over from the quarter. So let's say you, you just wanted to put some points into the raffle for Argent here, and you didn't want to put any, you wanted to keep your points. Uh, to save them for something later that you find more interesting in the later year raffles. Your points will roll over. So since we're about to start Q2 next week, you'll still have your points that you did not spend. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the year, we will do a big raffle for everybody that all the points that you earned will do a big raffle that way. And then the beginning of the year, January 1st or whenever Everybody it starts. goes back to zero. Yep, zero. So it's a yearly thing. Use it or lose it. Yeah. And then at the end of the year, you can use them all yep. and then try to do the big one. Uh, but yeah, real quick. All right, now we can, now we can go on. Um, oh, you're, you're going memes. And the number of bones shall be, will be four. Go right past numbers one, two, and three, and five. Be <laughs> yeah. right out. I love one, that scene. One, two, three, and five. <laughs> yeah. And the Lord did grin. Ame, name, you do. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> nice. That's a great movie. Uh, oh, yeah, I saw this one. This yeah. one. I think this one was the Steve one. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on Bones 26 while I look back at memes I made for Bones 17. <laughs> this was such a good one. This is a great one. Yeah, man. Bones 17 is going to be the best. <laughs> uh, when can we submit entries for April, please? Um, Mighty Lancer. So all the submissions are closed right now for the Reaper Challenge League until the raffles are done. Uh, we'll probably open them back up on Monday. Since there's really no time pressure um, right now, they, they can open up on Monday. And since we're not going to be doing anything with them, until the end of Q2 raffles. So probably next next Monday. Yeah, right. Steve, you did pretty good. I like how it's that, that translucent news or yeah. read that he's looking at. And Very uh, cyber High tech, yeah. yeah. But then again, what would you expect in 2077, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So funny. I'm going to switch this to regular minis, John. All right. Let's do it. Uh, I believe this was somebody. Oh, April Mott, I believe. Uh, she yes. she painted this uh, as a part of RVE. She took Mocha Mini's uh, multicultural mm -hmm. skin tone class, or dark skin tones. Mm -hmm. um, so they they practiced on this model with the dark skin tones, and then they they finished the model afterwards uh, by finishing the paint job. Um, and you can see they did the kind of the true non-metallic there on the swords, where it's reflecting on the bottom half of the sword. <laughs> Either it's reflecting her skin, or the little cloth that's in the front. So on the bottom of the swords there. So awesome. The face looks great too. Eyes on point. Um, real quick. Uh, <laughs> Lord Dave. No. Yeah. It's a, I got an accounting question. Yep. Okay. So the fourth quarter ends December 31st. Hmm? When do you award the points? Uh, so the fourth quarter. 
as of December 31st, if I logged in, I would have all my points. Uh, and then when do you have the end of year auction? Oh, so the way that we did it this time is we did it a week before the end of the quarter. So Okay, the so, points were awarded a week before. Well, the points are awarded all three months. Right, So right. If, you, if you put something in January, you yeah. get points for it. Right. And then you spend your points the last week of the, quor of the quarter. Oh, okay, the so. last week. So the week before, like, Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. somewhere in that time frame, yeah. you would, oh, okay. And I open it for a week, so it gives people a chance to. Yeah. So if you're busy on Saturday and Sunday, and you can mm -hmm. only do it on Monday, I, so I left it open for a little bit long. Yeah, thank so. you, Cranston. Yeah, a quarter five, obviously. Yeah, yeah, quarter <laughs> five. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, and those dates will be posted every time when we go to do the raffle, uh, like a, a couple of weeks before, I, I post the dates and the announcements and things like that. Steve's uh, coming. Oh, don't tell me that, Steve. I have such faith in your ability to make memes. <laughs> all right, next. I believe this is going to be, yeah, Byron Fleener. Oh, yeah. This is a Shadow Spawn Assassin. Uh, this is the ice, uh, one of the, one of our ice giants uh, from like the Warlord, Warlord line. Um... I, I love these models. I love the Ice Giants from Warlord. A lot of character in them. Uh, plus, we did a lot of cover art for our books and stuff with these. So, shout out to Byron. Shout out to Spawn. Jarl of Isingstead. That's his name. There you go. Uh, uh, shadow Spawn. Was this the... Oh, this was the metal version. Okay. Because I think we have a Bones version of this one. I'm not entirely sure. I get I get really confused of what we have in Bones and what we have in metal. But, yeah. I love these. I like the little uh, jade. I, I I like the little jade uh, stone on his waist, and this I think this is a um, Wayne Reynolds concept art if I if I remember correctly. Uh, that's why there's a lot of a lot of little details with the skulls hanging off his belt, and you know all that stuff. The necklace. This, this screams Wayne Reynolds to me, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure, but I like the little jade accents that you did, especially on his the bottom of his bracelet. On his right hand, you can kind of see that little piece of jade hanging off. And then the big jade crystal on his belt. Epic. Nice. Oh, thanks for the numbers, Mighty Lancer. Uh, Mighty Lancer. <laughs> Thank is you, a, Mighty Lancer. For Mighty, <laughs> Mighty Lancer is a store in the UK. Oh, is he? Yeah. They, they run a store. What's the name of your store? Mighty Lancer Games. Hey. If I remember correctly. Am I wrong? What are the odds? I might be wrong. <laughs> I might be wrong. That is that his name would be Mighty Lancer, and it's I'm Mighty Lancer sure Games. I'm pretty sure it's Mighty Lancer Games, because uh, <laughs> Mrs. MLG on the Discord, yeah, Mrs. MLG, which I'm assuming that's who is right there. Uh, she submits a lot of stuff for uh, the submissions. Oh, um, very cool. So shout out to Mrs. MLG. Well, say hi to the queen for me. <laughs> and, uh, next. Hi, MLG. Oh, yeah. This oh, is, yeah. I this like is, this one. This is Gary Magretto. Um, this is one of the new Viceroy models uh, in Bones USA. Uh, uh, it's kind of one of our... We've done motorcycles in the past, but mm -hmm. nothing uh, futuristic. Nothing like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is so cool. As like you it. can see, this this is like the future evolution of maybe how my motorcycles are going. Mm -hmm. I like the tires. Tires are my favorite part. Um, also, the boots. The boots are done in uh, probably looks like a little bit of mermaid scale paint. Um, it's the kind of that blue metallic -y, teal metallic -y color. Um, I thought it was a good good touch, but this this model looks great. It's a Bones USA model. It's it, you know just came out a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, epic. So good job, uh, Gary. I love this one. Yeah, by twenty seventy seven, the motorcycles might be the only thing that has <laughs> internal combustion engines. Oh and... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, probably. <laughs> Next one, I believe this is Hulk's workshop. Yeah, Hulk, Hulk's workshop with our bog skeletons. So. Bog skeletons. I like this one obviously because of the blue eyes. Uh, that's why I like it a lot. Uh, cool OSL across the whole thing. You can really see it on the fourth one and the first one because uh, they're kind of looking down a little bit. Um, the right one as well too. He's kind of leaning. Yeah. So you can see it on their on their their but, yeah, bones you, and their scale. The animation and everything. Yeah. Looks like they're lumbering along. Yeah. I like the the glowing the eyes effect. Yeah. Eyes yeah. are epic. Yeah. Shout out to Hulk's workshop. It's a good good theming. I like this this music. <laughs> this one's a little this one's a little too rough. Little heavy. Hold on. Let's see, I know Dave loves it. Let's skip this one. <laughs> um when do ah! <laughs> perfect. Anara. Anara asked, when do the RVE leftovers go into the store? I asked in the meeting on Monday about getting a list and getting these together. 
I believe they got the list and they'll go up on sale on Monday. I will get confirmation and I will post on Sunday night on our social media and everything about that. Um, I will get confirmation. If I remember correctly in the meeting, it was Monday, but I will get confirmation. So look for something this weekend about it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Shadow Spawn. I was just, I'm caught up in the music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Uh oh, Justin broke it. Uh oh, there's two. Did oh, you, you break can go ahead the and internet? Skip the next they're one. in. They're in here twice. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted. I wrote the name down. Hey, this is appropriate music for this figure. Why is yours different than mine? I don't get it. Uh, this is Jimmy Macias. Uh, he this month in March. Wait, January, February, March. Yeah, this we're is, in March. Uh, no, we're, no, we're in April. We're in April. Sorry. Um, so in I think it was in March. Um, in March he was doing a monster month. And every couple of days, he would paint a monster. And mm -hmm. this was the one that he did, I think, most recent. Uh, this is the King of Hell. I like the light blue membrane uh, yeah. there. Kind of give that sense of it being uh, wet, uh, uh, thin. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see the light through on the other side. Um, the non-metallic metal on the top of the spear. Super good. Kind of stands out. Great. I, a lot of people paint these with red skin. Um, I'm assuming Lord of Hell, right. Queen of Hell. Right. Red skin. Demons. But I like the color combos, you know. It's like gold and stuff like that. The armor and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Very royal. Yeah. Gold and yeah. gold's royalty. King. You're just not missing with any old internet Karen here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So shout out to, to Jamie. Jamie does great stuff. Uh, Frontman of the Bones 4 band. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, Dan Goodchild. Uh, Reaper Con swag. Oh, Reaper Con swag. swag. I was like, yeah. I just answered that question, but no, you're talking about Con. the Reaper Con one. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> well, right now we're focusing on tickets. That's a good question. Let's ask Ron. Yeah, let's ask Ron. Um, <laughs> uh, right now we're focusing on tickets and then getting teachers and then getting classes up and things I like that. At least they're so. still uh, they're still uh, putting the the bags together. Yeah, yeah, we're still yeah. getting items and stuff like that. We're still uh, sourcing and getting what we want to be in the swag. Um, and we're not, no, I'm not going to say it. But it will be, but it will, they, the swag stuff will go on sale sooner than ReaperCon. So this is going to be a little bit different. I think we've talked about it on Reaper Live. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, Ed talked about it. Um, it's going to work kind of how RVE and ReaperCon Online did mm -hmm. with swag regarding that. Um, so that way, in, in the past, the way this is different is that you would pick up your swag at ReaperCon. Uh, this time you can get it earlier uh, and get yes. it shipped to you and things like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Big Oath piece. Which dragon is in front of John? Argent, which will be raffled off later today. And Who's, who asked that? Oh, uh, uh, Bigos. Bigos. Yeah. Bigos. And then Dan Goodchild boxes. Yeah, swag boxes. Yeah. For mm -hmm. ReaperCon. Yes. Yeah, for ReaperCon. Uh, make it ReaperCon four. No, I was thinking we could probably call it ReaperCon Ron. 2020. And <laughs> RonCon four. Oh, Ron yeah, There you go, RonCon. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a preemptive by the. We'll, we'll do marbles race. at the end. Yeah. All right, we got to get. You, get you said you were gonna give that away mid show. Yeah, yeah, thirty eight. Oh, we'll about do it right now. Show. We'll do it right now. Oh, and now all of a sudden Justin found the button. <laughs> oh. oh, Ron's press release said ReaperCon twenty twenty swag goes on sale soon. Oh yeah, what press release? <laughs> soon, soon TM or soon? Soon TM. Yeah, soon. Um, well, here, let's do, the, do the giveaway real quick, John. And I'll close this. All right, you can close that. We'll, we'll come back to this. So people are asking, ReaperCon tickets win. Uh, Ron did say sometime next week. Um, that is what we're aiming for. We were waiting for some fine print and some finished things to kind of be finalized. And they'll go on sale. Uh, we did say that last night we were limiting them to 1,000 mm -hmm. uh, to start with. We're just planning for right now. We could add some later depending on what the, the status of things is. The, yeah, the uh, pandemic. Yeah. On the status of the pandemic. We're trying to make ReaperCon safe and safe is kind of our our key yeah. word <laughs> so um yeah and it's kind of a new territory we've never done a convention we, in, it was always in, the wild west i mean we didn't care about safety but now all of a sudden ed's <laughs> like we gotta be safe <laughs> <laughs> yes the vips will go on sale at the same time um can i leak any information no i can't nine cent chains i cannot all right let me do the raffles so raffles are pretty much closing so if you you got like another minute while i type these in but, and what do you type in to get into the raffle? Uh, you got there's a there's a section on the Discord um, mm -hmm. called Raffle Time. It'll tell you everything that you need to do. There's certain commands that you have to put oh, in. Oh wow! Um, so it's more than just a hashtag. Yeah, there, it's a command um, that you have to put in. All the all the things are there. 
But I mean, if you haven't done it already, you're probably not going to get in. Um, unless you, you put in for the last one. Exactly, Bug. You've had seven days. Okay. He shoots the trebuchet, but now he's all full safety. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Psh, glass breaks. Yeah, we need a glass break there, Justin. Okay. Oh, oh uh, uh, it's, not uh, on, it's not on this uh, one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, all right. That's a Reaper Live thing, apparently. We're going to go in reverse order. So we're going to go with the 10 um, Reaper gift cards. The 10, uh, let me see how much I put in here. Yeah, 10 $20 gift cards. Um, that's what we're going to start with. So uh, that is raffle number 15, ID number 15. So raffle, pull, 15, and we're going to pull 10 winners. Uh-oh. So as soon as I hit enter, we're pulling them. So. Like when you push the button on, on to, to oh, Bones yeah. 5. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. You ready, chat? Let's do it. And? It didn't work. Oh, no, it worked. Wait. It didn't work. No, it did. It worked. No, it, it didn't. It didn't work. Uh-oh. I don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. John's gonna quit. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. Let me close my Discord. <laughs> I think something happened. <laughs> Did you melt Discord? Uh chat? Um, um Oh no. What'd you do, John? Um, okay. Um hold on. <laughs> I tested this. I tested this before. Oh, you see the winners? Uh, welcome to technology. Yeah. Hey, Quindy. It's not my fault. <laughs> Quindy, Quindy, can you do me a favor and copy all the winners' names and send them to me? Um, so apparently, everybody else sees the winners' names. Um, I can't. I, I just see numbers. So the way that Discord works is mm -hmm. if I'm Reaper John, right. I'm, I have a number assigned to me, mm -hmm. like an ID. Oh, oh, okay. I only see that number. Number, right. Uh, I see invalid user. That's a lot of invalid winners. Wait, what happened? Some are just numbers. Some are numbers. Some are names. Uh oh. Can you tell me how many names there are? Okay. There you go. Okay, this is a disaster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, this is a disaster. I'm okay. out of here. All right. <laughs> um, I, I tested this and it worked. Sure, you tested it. <laughs> uh oh. You know, and and Ron proofread the box. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll just pull. <laughs> Pull, uh, pull some new names. Okay. That's fine for me. I see 10 names. So it's working for some people and some people aren't. Okay. All right. I have the names right here. There you go. Okay. So we have Grumpy Goomba, K-Mize, K C-H Dabby, My Fuzzy Kitty, Salazar Whiff, My Fuzzy Kitty again. Huh? No, you can't. Yeah, and this one you can. Since, oh. it's, since it's a raffle, you can yeah. purchase as okay. many tickets as you oh, want. Oh, yeah, okay, go, go. Um, Crowley, Lieutenant Floby, Betty Hime, Heim, Heim, sorry, I'm pronouncing that wrong, and Smallish Sam. One, two, three, Is it four, five, Betty Hime six, or Elohime? Nine, ten. That's ten names. Okay, good. Whew. What's what's that second to last name, John? Uh, Second to last name, Betty. Betty Hime. Betty H H I M E. Uh, huh. Apparently, Vigos, yeah, that you can win twice. Yes, um, for this one. So, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so, the uh, gift cards, there was 10 winners, right? And you could buy as many raffles as you wanted So because they were one point each. Oh, okay. And we had 3,013 entries. Mm -hmm. So, there was a chance that your name could get pulled twice. Um, and so, who was that? Uh, My Fuzzy Kitty got pulled twice, so congratulations. So, you should have gotten tagged on Discord if you won. Um so this is on the Discord, Francis. It's underneath uh, raffle, raffle time. Um, but all of these raffles are one, one winner each, and the ticket prices were different, right? So Argent cost 10 points for a raffle ticket. Um, the Surf War Scale, I believe, was five, and the VIP Warrior was three points to purchase a ticket. Um, so now I'm going to go and do the other ones. Hopefully yeah. they work. Sounds like me trying to teach my kid algebra. Sorry. <laughs> this has been open for, for a long time. So. Usually usually I'm behind the, the technical blunders. So, uh, yeah. Right so right. Yeah, Justin's just sitting there going, well, John, yeah. let's see, see it. Come see, on. See what happens when technology <laughs> argues with you? It happens regularly, sir. All right. I am pulling the raffle winner for ID number 13, which I believe is the Surf War Scale, the polished Surf War Scale. 
So this is going to be the one winner. There we go. Can somebody uh, tell me what that name is, please? <laughs> I only see a number. Yeah. Uh, Reaper Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Rosales. Thank you, Zewo. So Rosales. Rosales won the uh, polished Sir 4 scale. If you want to. Can you put this up on the screen, Jess? You had a cam one? Oh, you're talking about. Well, yes. Ignore the fact there's a little Dave. Oh. Oh, that's that's cute. It's it's there's a weird keying problem. I'll fix it later, but Bath, <laughs> Bath, the plane. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll 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 get the bot person on that. Okay. So Rosales is the winner of the polished Sir Four scale right here. Polished Sir Four scale. Now I'm gonna pull the winner for the VIP Warrior, sculpted by Julie Guthrie. 2019 VIP Warrior. Yes, uh, accountants do use algebra to answer your question for planning and estimating. Somebody tell me that name, please. <laughs> I'll, I'll message the bot, the bot creator. Earlier when I tested it, it pulled the names correctly for me. I don't know why it's messing for up for some and some not. They smallish them. Uh, Denistro. Denistro. So D E N N I S T R O. Denistro. Congratulations. Um, you probably got tagged on the Discord, so you, you'll see it. All the winners are tagged here, so you, you'll be able to see everything. So, <laughs> shout out to Dinistro. All right, here comes the big one. For Argent just, himself. Just as they scream. <laughs> They're actually saying, Argent! <laughs> All right, there's the winner. Who got Argent? No way. There's no way Rosales won twice. All right. Oh, chat. I, I, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. What do, we, what do we think about this? Should a person win? Uh, you're the one making the rules. I mean, it's... Uh, all right. I mean, what do you guys think? I think I'm, it's it's fair. It, it's... Okay. It's fair. <laughs> all right. Rosales. Rosales, Rosales won twice. Okay. Wow. What are, what are the odds? If they entered, they should. Yeah, fair draw. You're right. That's what we need. You're to. right. You're we right. need to have a mosh pit right here as we're, we're doing the show. <laughs> so, wow. Shout out to Rosales. Yeah. So, Rosales won Argent and uh, polished their four scale. Oh, there you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Rigged. Wasn't rigged at all. It, yeah, it wasn't rigged. Yeah, you're right. If someone buys more <laughs> raffle tickets than yes. Yeah, yeah. What are the odds? Yeah, what are the odds? Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. How many people in? Okay. So, Argent had 256 entries. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how many total tickets there right. were. So I don't know how many Rosales had. And how many tickets were for uh, Sir Four Scale? Sir Four Scale was 355 Hold tickets. Hold on. I'm working it. I'm working it. Uh, the VIP Warrior had 107. And the gift cards had 3,013 entries. Wow, you guys got a lot of points. Nice. Imagine if somebody won all three. Then I would call it rigged. <laughs> they won all ten of the gift cards. <laughs> there you go. He's doing the math. All right. Well, congratulations, everybody. That was fun. Um, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna message the bot creator and see if we can come up with a solution for that. Um, I don't know why I did that, but thank you, chat. I'm glad that some people could see the names and some some couldn't. It's all about the points. It's a community effort. So thank you. Yes. So this leads me into my next section. So Discord just came out with a new update this past week, uh, and they introduced something called stages, right? Oh, uh, somewhere over a thousand to one. Thousand to one? Mm -hmm. Wow! Go buy a lottery ticket, Rosales. <laughs> Congrats to the winners. How do we claim our winnings? Uh, I'll message you. Message me on Discord. Uh, I'll be, you know, I'll I'll be there. Um, that way I can get your information and things like that. Yes, as long as you trust the randomness. Yeah, correct. Uh, I can also probably ask to set a limit to how many tickets you can purchase, but that goes against the, the theme. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> but this this leads into the next thing we're talking about. So, um, what was I saying? Discord just came out with a new update. They released a thing called Stages. Um, Does it right, have anything to do with the Windows update? No, 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 no. In, in Discord right now, you can you can get into voice chat and you can talk with 25 people. So 25 people can be in a voice chat at once. So the way that stages work are like uh, panels, like mm -hmm. you see at conventions, where there's people up on stage and there's people listening. Um, you can't share video or share screens or anything. But 
the way that I want to use it is a thing called town hall. So I want to do like a monthly town hall where uh, me and all the moderators and everything, we all get in there and we all discuss stuff and everybody in the discord can come and ask questions and give feedback on what's happening with point systems and, you know, what should we do? How, what do you think of the contest? Uh, are there any things that you'd like to see in the community and things like that to yeah. kind of give feedback? So I kind of want to do this town hall kind of thing. And the way that it's going to work is you basically like raise your hand and that if you want to ask a question or mm -hmm. anything like that, and then we'll just call on people, ask your questions and we can talk about it and do like a kind of a group group talk about things like that, about rules and ideas. So and when does this like get that. implemented? Uh, it's already, it's, it's, it's live mm -hmm. right now. Um, I just gotta, you know, set up a, a format for right. us, for us as a community. Let me ask: When you buy raffle tickets for something, can you purchase? You can purchase multiple tickets. Yeah, not mm -hmm. just one. Yeah, yeah, because uh, and uh, I spread it out so uh, Argent. Yeah. He costs ten points for one raffle ticket. One raffle ticket, right? Uh huh. This one was. But uh, I could spend a hundred points. points and get ten raffle tickets for Argent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then, yeah, the odds are less than than a thousand yeah, to yeah. one. But yeah, yeah. yeah, I'd need to know how many tickets they purchased. Uh, yeah, yeah, like that. all yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and so I I wanted like a big prize. 10, 10 points, mm -hmm. five points, three points, and no. then the, the, the gift cards were a one point. Um, and that, you know, this was designed. What's to, wrong with gift cards? Huh? What's wrong, why are gift cards so cheap? Well, uh, it's just kind of. Uh, you don't like Reaper? Because we could do more as a giveaway. <laughs> um, that's why I want to do these town I'm just, halls. I'm just giving you our time. <laughs> I want to do these town halls to get feedback on. Since this, is the, this was the first time doing yeah. it, yeah. we need feedback and, to make things better. Um, and if this is the only glitch, then then yeah. it's a home run. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we we have the names, so it worked yeah. out. Um, I just want to make it a little bit more grandiose next time. Um, but yeah, the way that it's designed is it's designed for a, a lot of people. People that paint all the time, people that only get yeah. a, like the weekends to paint and things like that, so yeah. you can save up your points and have a have a fair chance, you know. Um, and that's kind of what it's designed for. So especially. Right now, if you didn't like any of these options, you could just save your points until the next quarter. Right. And then if you see something that you really like, you could just go all in on it and buy, you know, 50 tickets or whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think you can publish who had the most first quarter points. Or do you publish that? Um, I do have a leaderboard. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I believe it was uh, Clavicus. Oh. Clavicus, I believe, had the most points uh, at the end of it. I think he, they might have been they might have been tied with somebody else. Yeah. But I think it was Clavicus, if I if I remember correctly. I think Baladar the Red wants to go to uh, Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nice. Lord Dave, I think I had seven tickets for Sir Four Scale. Uh, he was worth three points, so you had twenty one. Twenty one ticket. Twenty one points spent on yeah. tickets. Nice. I can do that math. I had these three items, so I saved all my points. That's a good point. Is that these were you already had all three of these, so yeah, you saved your points. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't don't also, do it. <laughs> uh, the me and the mods have been talking. Uh, maybe we'll talk about this. So, so we've noticed a lot of people doing uh, duos and trios, even though they've already submitted points. Obviously, you can only get points for duos once once a month. So, but you can participate in as many uh, duos as you want. Uh, so we're looking at like little community badges and trophies and and things like that. So be on the lookout for that. But that that comes along with this whole town hall stuff. So it's going to help us flesh out ideas and get. You should things. probably get with Adrian and and one of those banners that mm -hmm. you put on your badge little for ribbons. Reapercon. Yeah, for uh, chip them out to people. Well, yeah, no, the uh, if you participated in this program, you get a little. Oh. They just have to come to you and get them. Oh, that's a smart idea for ReaperCon in person. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Hands clap because uh, bragging rights trophy. All right. <laughs> it's a new month. That means it's new marble tournament. So while Justin gets this set up. Wow, is it already marble? Wow, it is already marble stone. Yeah. We, we got a lot of hot, hot air on this show. But, <laughs> but no, I feel like we get a lot of stuff done each week. Yeah, we do. I like yeah. coming on and talking to the people because it helps me flesh out my ideas that I come up with. Mm -hmm. And with chat helping you out, it, they really come up with some good ideas. Yeah, town hall chat. Be, look, be on the lookout for it. But congratulations to all the winners. Uh, RCL has been really fun. Uh, I'm going to be advertising it a lot next week uh, since it's the new quarter. 
Um, and there's going to be a lot more pop-up events this time around. Um, I like the pop-up events that we did last time, even though I think we only did one. But we'll probably do a little bit more this time around. I want to do like Bones USA pop-ups and things like that. Um, more themed stuff is really fun. Oh, you missed it, Cranky Dog. Yeah. John was standing on his hands. He was doing <laughs> handstands. I can do a handstand. Can I'll, you now? I don't know. I haven't tried it in a while. <laughs> I'm sore right now. Yeah, flush out my ideas. Yeah, get them out of my head. Yeah, just flush them down. Uh-oh. 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 You got to start playing Reaper Harley's in, Justin. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Quick, quick. Pick one. Oh, um, sorry. Sorry. Oh, we got to go to the ratings first. Let's see here. Crawl zero. Boo. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. Do we want to? Oh, this one's got uh, risky troll cannons. Seventy-eight <laughs> percent. I like the sound of it. <laughs> All right, I did too. We're gonna run with this one. Almost three minutes. Don't put your exclamation point play in. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, now you can. Put your exclamation point play if you wish to participate. Oops, I didn't do exclamation point. I'm a noob. Whoa. Oh, nice. Mac and Chi Mini. It's almost like uh, bringing the horses out to, to view before the race. <laughs> oh, nobody, nice. nobody believed me last night that my dad got a scholarship on uh, no, bull No, riding. they didn't. Why not? It's true. Because, because it's, a, otter? it's probably only a Texas thing. I think that's a bear? That otter? Like an otter? Oh, uh, with, a otter Norseman, with a Norseman helmet. Yeah. I love it. Betrayal. Good job. Image of betrayal. IOB. I, I, I love otters. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Valinor with the ham. Ham man. <laughs> oh, Val. Oh, man. Uh, Val, I, I saw your diorama. Oh. Your pageorama. I have it saved. Um, we were going to show it off today, but we didn't get to it. Looks, but I have it. Just so looks you know. like the cool disco ball. And then there's Francis there. GVD. Madman with the eye and sorrow. Hey, Reaper me. John. Reaper me. Yeah. The stallion. I need to get a horse marble. All right, we have 30 seconds. Get your exclamation point plays in. Fly by real quick. Just so you can yeah. taunt Justin. Ooh, I like that. Hey, Lieutenant Floby. Yeah, Hi, that's nice. Yeah. Hey, did anybody play marbles when you were younger? I played marbles yeah. a lot when I was younger. Oh, a lot of fun. Thank you, I only played with the Pokemon Thanks, marbles. Aries. Coffee nerdy beer. Those were cool. Especially because you could collect them, you know? So you know, like, yeah. I beat you and got your Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. They, they were contraband on the playground, yeah. I remember. Thanks for the gift bomb, Aries. And Legend. we're off. Mac and cheese. Oh, I think if you go this, this way, way, yeah, shoot it shoots you at the cannon, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. And you have a chance of landing. Going to gravity the well. Yeah, right now we're in a holding pattern uh, because we don't know. Uh oh. Aries come Gao out. comes out ahead. Quindy? Aries got the good luck with the gifted subs. Don't putting him in first place. Guys. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. Frankie, Frankie dog. dog. All right. And well. Karen. Someone's <laughs> going to get shot out. Pew. Yeah, let's go check and see what happens. Uh, it's going to take side. a while. It's going to take a while. Let's see what's happening. Ish and Loki taking an early lead up there down the middle. Yeah. The more safe way. The prudent yeah, way. The clearly safe way. I don't know what happened to uh, Quindy and all them. What's happening over there? Oh, they have to go oh, down a giant big spiral. Reaper John. Uh oh. It's okay. Yeah. I, I'm. I have good aerodynamics. <laughs> doomed. Cranky dog is doomed. Doomed. Daka flocka. I wonder what's happening over there on the far left. Oh, there's a little track at the very end. I see on the other side. Mech boy. Oh, the oil. The oil pit. It looked there like. There we go. Wait for the. Oh. There's oh. Cranky Dog heading out. Good mm. luck, Cranky Dog. <laughs> I wonder where it's going to shoot them. Like really far? Uh, oh, no. Man. What happens if it's a shortcut? Oh, uh, it is. Is it? Looks like it could be. There's Reaper John bouncing. And we're bouncing. The dog father bounces out. Francis. Francis. Cranky oh. Dog gone. We're gone. Out of there. Oh. Reaper John. Reaper so John. I think it, you have a it, chance. Are these bouncy? 
I don't know. Maybe you just have so much momentum that you're bouncing. Yeah, that might be it. It sends you over the edge, that yep. kind of stuff. Carwin. Uh, oh, I think Image is going to win. Seriously, yeah. What about Nass? Oh, I see. And then if you Missed it, oh. overshot it, and then you... you oh. oh, Oh, and it takes you to another I cannon. Image is first, and look, image. there's another cannon. Nephorus. It's going to shoot them <laughs> the opposite direction. Wow. What a cool map. Wow. Sarducci. Sarducci, Vigos. No. That goes to Fox. Mollish Sam. Reaper Dave. Oh. Where, oh, where, no, where, where Margaret. was I? Bye, Margaret. See you, Mar. Oh, there goes Reaper Dave. <laughs> Bye. Asmo. HM Road Dog. I think uh, everyone gets launched right here. Yeah, look at this. Oonk. No, like Oonk. Coffee Nerdy Beer gets. If you hit lucky. that one, it just takes you right down. Yep. Festus. Look at that. Oh, I see. So if you if you bounce and bounce and bounce and you just overshoot it, yeah, then you don't you get and it shot. shoots you into another cannon. Right, yeah. and I don't think this cannon lands anywhere. I think it just shoots you into oblivion. I mm. think so too. Yeah, carry Michael Cosby all the way back there in the middle. Once bitten apple, Samurai Jack, Jedi Jared. Yeah, some awesome names that we see every week. Thank you for coming back. We really appreciate it. It's always nice to see your names. Rings, rings there goes rings. Hope you're doing good, rings. I see you've been a little bit absent recently, probably work and stuff, but can't wait to see some of your new stuff that you're going to be painting. Oh, nearsighted giraffe. It's okay. Since he's nearsighted, he can't see where okay, he's going. Okay, so, hey, okay. focus in on, yes, uh, small Sam. No, turn around. Oh, yes, smallish Sam? Smallish Sam, yeah. If you, you go down any of these other than the last one, it looks like it'll take you straight to the finish line. Straight to the finish line. Oh. But I don't think most people stop there. They end up, like you said, with the momentum ending up over here. Mm-hmm. And then either off the edge or they... Oh, man. Oh, here, here we go. Over the hump. Whoop. And That's fun. there you go. Oh, wow. Image of Betrayal. Congratulations. The panda. With your panda. All kinds of ways to die on that map. That was a fun one. I think that's one of the funnest maps I've seen. Mm -hmm. Woot. Ghost power. That's right. I got third. Lol. <laughs> All the people who didn't finish. Wow. That's a wow. lot. Yeah. F's in chat. Including myself. F's. Quindy, Bug Lips. Bug Lips. Dave. There Dave. I am. Yeah. John. Hey. There's Reaper John. Wow. None of us made it. All right. All, All right. right. So there's the deadly one. All right. We're not going to look at placements yet. No, we're not. Oh, we go, I guess we, we can go. see it right there. We do Doesn't a matter. safe one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, technically, <laughs> since it's the first race, yeah. Look for something that's like a pretty decent eliminate. Like, like a, probably like 20% elimination, you think? Sounds yeah. good to me. There's a 15 percent. There's 15? a 15. Yeah, this is crafty jumping, jumping, crossing. All right, wow. jumping. I like it. It's only a minute long too, so Wait. even better. Oh, interesting start. Green. That looks like a soccer field. Get oh, your, it might be actually. Get your hashtags play in. Oh, okay. Let's see. We're gonna. Oh, not hashtag! Exclamation point. Takes you down here, and then it shoots you into the see big tube. How they got thing. this background? I wonder if this was a custom background. You yeah. Oh yeah, it is, and oh. that would be cool. But I never, when I was looking at doing this, I never could figure out how you would change the background. Yeah, me neither. So I think this portal goes to what this portal? Yep. And then, and then it oh, shoots you, man. And then this hammer looks like it might disrupt you from finishing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one should be interesting. Interesting. Oh, I got to get, get in. your exclamation point plays in. Did you, John? Uh, Justin? I'm about to. If you're new here, exclamation point play. There we go. The It'll... top five winners at the end of the month will receive a Reaper gift certificate. Yeah, Reaper mini gifts cards. Congratulations to everybody last night, too, about winning your uh, core sets Ooh. and chronoscope sets. Look at that one. Hey. Ooh, freestyle. Freestyle nice. always has really good ones. Freestyle was one of the first ones to start editing their marbles. So. All right, here we go. Good luck. Wow, the music went quiet. Yeah, right at the, right at the start. There we go. I had to pick up again. And they're off. See, I wonder if the people in the back at the start have more mo momentum to build up since they're going down the ramp longer. It depends on how much speed they're allowed to, to build up to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. No use in commentating right now because everybody's in this cluster. It's really hard to comment because you don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Uh oh, here you go. Oh yeah. Now we Let's separate the players. Here. Yeah, these are fun. I like the ones that separate them into different different ramps. Jedi Jared getting boosted. Oh, 
Somebody fell. Oh, someone the sweet, fell, yeah. the sweethearted gamer. Sweetheart. A little gamer. bit too much boost there. GVD minis also fell. Most people see oh, cheese wow. bagger. We already have people down here. Green yeah. users. <gasps> what? Green Whoa. users. Wow. Bob and Julie, and then Festus McCool. I I like I like watching the hammer. It'll knock people out. That's fun. Bink. Wow. Oh, Bob? Carrie Michael Cosby. <laughs> Just got in there real good. Oh, oh. oh simp turd. <laughs> there you go. Great name. Just you will never know. Oh, made it. What's your secret? What's your secret, green users? Uh, plenty of sun, and apple juice. The vitamin, cat is a dragon. T eight Rand Missy. Come on, hammer. Oh, Knock no somebody man. out. No uh oh. Man. Loving music. Oh, that's the late. That's she has her own show. Oh yeah, I watch her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just started painting miniatures, I believe. Yeah. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Love, love and music. Nice plug. We expect our check in the mail. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No, she's really a good painter. You should catch her channel. Uh, Valandar, it's a green map. They're the green users. Users, hey, <laughs> yeah. What are the odds, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn good child coming in. Second to last, or second? Oh no, Steve. Oof. Meme makers. Where else is there someone? Ishan, Loki, and Garess. <laughs> Garess. Garess. Come on, Garess. Let's see if Garess makes it. We'll and Bing, and yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, all right. Ishan, Ishan Loki. Ishan, Ishan. just kind of hanging out Just's there. The ball. I, I don't know if Ishan's going to make it, chat. I don't know if, I don't know if they're going to make it. They keep, oh, here oh, you go. Oh, 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 oh. Go. he saw the wall, and now he's going. I don't know if it's going to matter. Nope. He's going to go straight through the portal and, and nope. disappear. Oh, oh, the wall. He got wins. Thanos. He got Thanos snapped. He did. Spoiler alert. What? Spoiler alert. <laughs> hey, let's go look at the... Uh... Hey, let me get Archon out of the way. Oops. Uh-oh. Oh, I moved him right in front of the names. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, congratulations, Bob. Uh, green users in first place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> Image of betrayal. So, so that Festus McCool. Aussie Outlaw 10. And Bar. I'm not good with names. Varl B. Jim. Varl B. Jim. Okay. Mine Hermit. Hermit. That's a new name. Cheese Bagger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom, can I go get me a cheese bagger? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. all right. Well, thank you guys very much. Yeah, who are we raiding today? I, I saw that Miniac is on. Um, I don't know if that matters, but I don't know who else was on. Uh, let's, see. let's see. We have Miniac, Miniatures Dan, Studio J7, Flickster. I know we raided Flickster last night. Uh, David Peterson's on, playing the mud. Mm, Gen Con TV. More than dice, Kathy's on. Um, Ooh, let's go with Kathy. All right. Kathy, more than dice podcast. Um, you like Miniac? Yeah, Miniac's awesome. He put out a really funny April Fool's joke yesterday. If if you haven't seen it, I would go check that out. Um, yeah, go go tell Kathy we said hi. Yeah, I, I played I played uh, D and D with Kathy uh, this past Sunday uh, for Gary Con, so I got to play with her. Um, go say hi to the yeah. Kathy Wapple Best Wapple. <laughs> Wash your hands, stay safe, get your shots. Mm -hmm. Want to see you at ReaperCon. And remember, don't fear the Reaper. This is a city. Some call it Denton, Texas. We call it Reaperland.